Today's project is putting these, uh, we got some new um, bolts to put on, I can't even what they're called, I'm an idiot. Um, studs, wheel studs, okay. So basically what you do, um, these are broken off, you can, the other one didn't even have any splines and this one's messed up from where it broke. So what I'm literally gonna do, normally what you would do is you get a nut, like one of these, and you put it on the end and hit it that with a hammer. But since mine already, mine's already messed up, you can see I did this one so I know what I'm doing now. Um, see there's the old one, that didn't even have any threads on it at all. But um, so what I'm, what you're literally gonna do is you hit this with a hammer until it pops out the back. And then uh, it's, since it's not flat, or since it's not the same size here anymore, you're gonna have to force it through the little hole. Then what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna tack weld uh, right there and possibly right there on the inside. Um, that's actually on the rear. There was one that was loose and um, just to get the tire off, you can see that one tack weld is holding that. Um, that one um, wheel stud on. Um, I don't know, my focus is going in now, I don't know, They're on the camera. I'm good. But yeah, um, I'm gonna try to set this up so you can see what I'm gonna do. Um, but I'm literally just hitting this little stud with a hammer. There you can see. came out a lot easier um, you can see the little splines in there yeah you can see like the little ribs that it was in um, yeah here's that and just slid right out so I'm gonna toss that there then I ordered these. These are just cheap eBay ones. Um, but what you do, you literally just take one of these here. Rad parts, rad dot, www.rad dot parts. And it's just radmail yahoo.com at yahoo.com. Um, they look really nice. Um, I'm sure they'll do the job. <laughs> Nothing sponsored, they're just what I use. Wish. Wish I could get like anything sponsored. So literally what you do, take this bolt off, push it through like that. And then you, I'm just gonna hand tight. I'm just gonna get it a little bit on. I'm not gonna be able to do that. Oh, I'm gonna set this back up here. I don't know if that was in focus at all, but I literally just hit it a bunch of times with a hammer. I really hope it was. I don't know if it was on the right thing or not. Um, I really feel like it was pointing down here, and I'm really sorry about that. But yeah, you literally just, it was in there, and I literally just hit it with a hammer. It was like that, and I just hit it until it eventually shot out the back. Um, I'm going to hand tighten this and then I've got a, um, this one is a 14 millimeter. You literally just tighten it down and it pulls it in. Help if I would put it on the right setting, but it literally just here. You spin it. 
you literally just spin it. And you can see that gap getting smaller and smaller. And then you stop right there when it gets tight. This one I don't even need to tack weld. The other one uh, started spinning loose because that probably because it uh, was flattened out. But yeah, so there you go. That's how you install new wheel studs and that works on a car or truck anything um this is a can't tell anymore but this is old honda 300 four wheeler 1996 or 98 i don't know either way honda 300 new wheel studs and uh i may go over to the back and do them um but yeah you can see they're the same size so it works